This is a brief little video that I want to do, which is about a couple of concepts of verification and falsification in the uh, movement in, in analytic philosophy called logical positivism. This whole movement kind of went in sort of the 1920s and sort of died out in the 50s. Um, and the whole thing is it's a renewed empiricism in that it's returning towards doing philosophy based on what can be verified in our observation or our sense data. Sense data is we have a certain hatch of a certain size, color, or shape, and, or feel a certain smoothness or, you know, sensory data. Um, and we use our, we try to use this, this whole movement is about trying to use our observation as a foundation or possibly just as the, um, the causal connection, uh, you know, it, 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 it depends on whether it's a f the single philosopher is a foundationalist or a, or a coherentist, but it is about doing philosophy and grounding all of science upon observation in one way or another. So the concept of verification and falsification relate very closely to truth, meaning, and justification. So first of all, verification is very important. I mean, I think it's probably more important and more talked about than fault than falsification. Falsification kind of um, came around and was talked about more by um, Popper, Duhem, and Quine. Um, verification. Um, you know, we have the actual positivists like Carnap, Schlick. Ayer and others, you know. Oh, I should put a Reichenbach. Um, but what verification is is that if I have a belief or a statement, whatever you want to, whatever you want to, you want to call it. Uh, let's say I have a belief that the that the New Orleans Saints are going to win the Super Bowl next year. Um, if I want to verify that that belief. What I have to do is I have to um, put that belief, try to put it in accord with my sense data or my observational data or, you know, that all the data that is from my observation. And if what I have in my observational data um, confirms it or verifies it, then I can keep that, then I can keep that, that belief. Schlick uses the word confirmation as observation. Um, I have a video about um, Schlick's paper, which is called um, The Foundation of Knowledge. A great paper where he talks about confirmations quite a bit. Um, so, verification is very closely related to confirmation in that, um, you know, something is verified by... Um, Putting a belief in accord with um, what I have, what I have gathered so far in my uh, quest for scientific knowledge, um, through what I have gathered so far, um, if my observational data confirms, or if it, if it is put, if it, if it is put well, well in, in accord to my to my observational data, then I can continue with my hypotheses and such. Secondly, falsification. Um, you can also relate this to corroboration, which is a word like popper. Corroboration, um, if a theory or a statement is corroborated, then um, I have tested and done experiments with a certain with a certain statement, and it, it I've done all these tests on it, and it has come out unscathed, and it still works within my um, system, within my system of beliefs, and I can just keep on going. But falsification is a bit of a negative process. This is more of a positive process, and sort of confirming stuff, so I can so I can keep on going. Falsification um, still has to do with ob with observation, um, in that. Um, I try to um, put my my everything I 
everything I've gathered so far in my quest for scientific knowledge, and I try to put that in accord with my with my with my observational data. And if there are contradictory issues and things in my observational data kind of cancel out some of the stuff I've gathered so far in my quest for for for, for scientific knowledge, then a belief is falsified. A belief is falsified when when, when observational data proves it to be wrong or illogical. Um, now, finally, to kind of, kind of sort of end this little video here, these two relate to truth, meaning, and, and justification. The conditions under which a belief is verified is the same as the conditions under which a belief is true. It is the same as the, is the, the, same as the conditions under which a belief has meaning, and is the same conditions under which a belief is justified. Um, so, um, the whole logical positivist thing, this one, not so much, but I mean, it, it, this, these two are pretty closely, closely related, but the main, the main thing that, that no matter all the, no matter how much all the positivists disagreed, they all agreed on one thing, that, that, ver that the condition under which a belief is verified is the same as the condition under which a belief is true, is the same as the condition under which a belief has meaning, is the same as the the, the, the condition under which a belief is justified. So, um, that's kind of how these two things relate to the to the positivist the, the logical positivist era. So, um, if, you, if, you, if you think I've messed up messed something up here, or if you have a question, or if you think I've left something out, please comment comment below. I'd love to discuss with you. And um, whenever you comment, I get a, I get an email, and. Uh, I will respond to you unless your comment is of is really of no well if your comment if if your comment is, is of purpose is of, is of useful purpose then I will then I will, I will respond um, and thank you.